Hey Gemini, what can be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. All of you guys are getting this card, Habitual Liar. This is a twin flame rating, but like, I don't know if this one flame is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, whatever, but it's like that is repeating. Every three videos that I've done that has came out. Drama. Whoop, cleansing. This person's trying to heal themselves from all the drama that they've created in their life. If they were known as like a liar, like... I feel like this person realizes that like all they're doing is just making things more of a mess and it's like they always gotta try to clean things up and I feel like this person's actually trying to just clean up the mess that they've created, clean their life, detoxing, become a better person it says, twin flame. This card fell in reverse. Look, immaturity, in reverse. So that's a good thing. This person's maturing now. In the past, I do feel like you could have considered this person as like childish or somebody that was just like never really somebody that you could rely on, like always back and forth and, you know, running from this person or that person, like drunk in love. <laughs> this person could have been somebody that was always drinking or just like partying. I heard margaritas. Let's see. Opposites attract new and exciting. Celebrating quietly. Burnout. This person, like I said, that's why I was saying from one person to another. I feel like this person is just like, and I feel like this person will be with anybody. It doesn't matter if like they're tall or short or, you know, um, doesn't matter the skin color. This person may be somebody that just can't, it just, it doesn't matter if they like you, they like you. They may be somebody that like just, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and I feel like they keep this a secret. It's like a party life that they keep secret. Like they're a little bit of like a, a player or a big player, let me say, but their life is like burning out. It's funny because you have the burnout card right underneath of the cleansing. It's like their candle has been blown out or something like there's no more spark there. Like the player lifestyle isn't fun anymore. It just creates a lot of drama, you know. I feel like the people who mess with this person are always nervous that this person's going to move away from them or find somebody else. Like this person may never settle down. I just heard Mari Povich. So like, maybe they have that type of like lifestyle. Serendipitous. Surreptitious. I don't know what the hell that word is. But this is somebody, this is a naughty secret. This is somebody that did a lot of freaking dirt behind the scenes. I feel like a lot of people don't know about it. They're somebody that keeps things quiet. They don't tell everybody what they do. So it may surprise you to find out that this person is somebody. Maybe it won't. But I feel like this person is kind of like a little bit of a... <laughs> oh, I'm not going to say it. But you have finesse, manipulator, trickster... They're very good at, like, saying the perfect thing at the perfect time. They're really good at, like, being able to manipulate people and make them think things. <laughs> Lies. Deceit. Evasion. Perjury. Don't know what that word is. Distortion. Slandering and bad-mouthing. There's a lot of people that see this person for who they truly are, though. I feel like this person has a hard time, like, getting in um, relationships because, like, it's, like, known. Like, everybody knows about what they do or did. Like I said, um, the burnout is right underneath of the cleansing, okay? Which means that this person is trying to clean up their life and become a better person here. The Eight of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Sun. I feel like nobody would believe that this person is, like, changing into the person that they are changing into. Like, the Sun, the King of Wands. Like the age of swords, people don't want to see it. People don't want to hear it. This person could have been so toxic in the past that like nobody thought this person was ever going to change, but they are. You know, I just feel like they were young-minded. They could have been like a little bit angry, I'm hearing. So the seven of wands, the four of cups, they could have had like an issue with like pushing away people that love them, pushing away people that truly wanted to be there for them, you know? And they always had their walls up with the four of swords. They also had a problem with communication. And so, um, yeah, this person was, like, never settling. But, like I said, they're heading in a new direction here. They're becoming more optimistic about their life. 
they're trying to like keep their head up, you know, they're just trying to move forward from the past. I feel like they've learned a lot from it. The Eight of Pentacles, they're working through it. And with the Knight of Pentacles, it's a lot of work that they've done. Okay, it could have been years. The Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. This person is starting to become more grounded, more loyal. Okay, so let's find out their feelings for you. They're afraid that you won't even talk to them. They're afraid that, you know, they kind of did something, they did too much. They, they could have brought too much pain to your life. Overwhelming energy, just feeling trapped or them just telling you lies like you can't trust them. The Six of Pentacles, they breadcrumb you. They feel like with the King of Swords that you are like, nope, you know, this is somebody that sees clearly. You know, you're very blunt. They could be a little bit intimidated by what you're going to say or how you're going to react with things. The Chariot. <clears throat> the Four of Swords. They keep everything silent. All their feelings for you, they keep quiet. I don't feel like they ever really told you how they felt. <clears throat> because I feel like this person didn't want commitment. They didn't want to be stuck in a relationship. Like, they wanted to be able to be free. And, you know, have that party and single bachelor or bachelorette, whatever, lifestyle. The justice card. But things are, like, balancing out now. Okay? It's like they're being called back to you or something. The page of cups. The justice card. It's like they're being called back to you. I feel like they're noticing a lot of signs. They may be seeing, like, your name everywhere. The eight of pentacles. Maybe they ran, to, ran into you at work. You know? I feel like they've been getting a lot of signs. That it's time for them to come through because they've been doing a lot of work. All right? How do they view you? The Hierophant. Somebody who's marriage material. Somebody that's very traditional. A wise soul. Like the Hermit. The Hierophant. You're very wise. Like you're somebody that has so much wisdom. So much knowledge. You're always like willing to help people. This person sees you as somebody who's very spiritual. Or somebody that they look up to. Like that they can trust. Somebody that seems very like... Loyal, like if they tell you a secret or something, they don't have to worry about you like saying things. You have the seven of swords. They see you as avoiding them though. Maybe they don't know what's going on in your life. You can see you as marriage material. You have the four of pentacles. They're afraid that you hold on to the past of them lying and deceiving you and creating all the drama in your life. They, you know, I feel like they also see with the hermit that you've healed from this, that you became wiser because of this. And like, maybe in the past, you could have been somebody that like dealt with this and let this person keep on coming back in, but now you don't. Like this person knows that like, you want commitment, you want the real deal. If they're not going to give it to you, like you will go elsewhere, right? The Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles plus the Four of Pentacles is Ten of Pentacles. This could have been somebody, something that was like ten years ago, six, four. Three of Pentacles, too, as well. They see that you've done so much work, but they know that, like, the way that you see them is from the past. Like, they're afraid that that's, like, your judgment, that's your final judgment of them, and that's how you're always going to see them, right? Right? What are their next actions towards you? Ace of Wands, the Five of Cups, Seven of Cups. They want to bring the spark back, but they're so focused on, like, you know, the, the glass always being half empty. Like, I feel like there's a lot of regret here, but this person, like, I don't know if they are, like, they may have, like, everything in the world and then still not be happy. They may have an issue with that. Okay, with the five, five, <laughs> seven of cups. They feel like it's just a fantasy, that it's just, it's all in their head. But their next moves is like the ace of wands. They want to bring that spark back, okay? They want to see where things go. The eight of wands, like they want to move forward from the past, from the hurt, from the pain, from the confusion, you know, from the other people, situations, third parties, you have the Queen of Wands, like this person, it seems to me like this person's taken their power back, the Three of Pentacles, they've been doing a lot of work, they do with the Hermit, and they've learned from the past too as well, 
So it's like they see you as the hermit and now they're coming up as the hermit as their next action. So it's like they're coming back more wiser. You know, I feel like they're also going to shine light on a situation. The page of pentacles. It's like they're going to start small. They may just be like, they may just message you and be like, hi. <laughs> you know, I feel like they just want to make sure you're going to answer them at all first. Okay. What do they want you to know? <clears throat> the justice card. They're trying to do the right thing. They're trying to become a better person. They're trying to balance things out. They're trying to fix things. The Page of Swords, that they've been watching you. They've been thinking about you a lot. And they're also working almost like they're preparing a speech for you. Okay? Um, the Two of Pentacles. And the world. This difficult, you know, juggling and never being sturdy and stable, that has came to an end. Like, there's a chapter in their life that is closing. That instability is closing. They're, they're a lot more mature now. Okay, and I do feel like they just, you know, they want to come in and let you know how they feel about you because I don't know if, to me it's like the way that they feel about you is different than they've ever felt about anybody else. And you got the Six of Cups because, and the Six of Wands. It's like, you guys, it's almost like the way that you guys see them, you see them like through their soul right and so it's it's different all right not a lot of people may understand this connection either there may be a lot of people i'm hearing that tell you don't do this but you need to listen to your heart the seven of cups there might be a lot of different people that got shit to say but the king of wands you need to follow your heart okay if this is something that you truly want if this is somebody that you truly love let them prove to you that they've changed you know, don't go jumping in anything too quickly, but let them prove to you that they've changed. The lover's part in the six of wands. If this is something that you truly want to do, it doesn't matter what anybody else has to say, okay? All right, now we're going to get a message from their heart, and we're also going to do this physical trait card. I guess it's physical trait, like whatever they look like. It's not a big deck, okay? It's a small-ass deck, so it don't have a lot. Only take what resonates for you. If these don't resonate, it's fine. You have dark blonde hair tan skin, gray eyes, gray hair, light blonde hair, freckles, and glasses. Right, and let's get a message from their heart. Innocence. Your innocence and kind heart made them love you, but they felt like they needed to push you away to protect you from themselves. Yeah, if this person ghosted you, they were not, like, they knew what they were doing, okay? And the way that they were making other people hurt, they didn't want to do that to you. So this person literally needed to walk away. You have leap of faith. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith here. And then you have the rival. Like I said, they could have chose somebody else because it was easier, you know, they could have chose somebody else because in their heart, they couldn't hurt you the way that they hurt other people. Like, even if they've hurt you a lot, like, I feel like they've hurt a lot more people. Maybe worse, okay? Like, I heard you can't imagine. So this person could have been very, very toxic in the past. You have telepathy. Your telepathy you share cannot be ignored. Your words are slowly leaving imprints upon their heart. Especially if I'm here and come back to me, come back to me. Maybe you guys are trying to imprint things in this person's mind, like trying to speak to them telepathically. You could also be praying for them and, you know, sending them positive vibes and healing energy. And if you're doing that, it's working. I feel like when you speak to this person through your mind, they hear you. You know, all of a sudden, they just like all of a sudden like start thinking about you. <clears throat> you have unfounded fear. They were afraid to trust and get hurt. The illusion was keeping them locked in anxiety and unable to act upon their love for you. So this person, like, they kept themselves, like I said, single or bouncing from one person to another because it was easier, you know? I feel like they were afraid to be in love, but now, like, there's no denying it. Then you have endings. The end of your life to test you, teach you, and bring upon the very best for you. 
And now it says, now the part in your story is over. Some of you guys could have given up on this connection. It doesn't mean that this is over for every single one of you, but for some of you guys, you may have been like, okay, I've seen enough. I don't need to see anymore. You know? And this person could also think that you're a witch or maybe you put some type of spell on them because it says they see how powerful and magical you are and sometimes they wonder if you had them under a love spell. Like, the love that they have for you is so strong. Like, why you? So, like, maybe, like, in their mind, they're like... They must have put a spell on me. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like this person, like, the only other thing that they could think of is something like that because, like, nobody else was able to get them like this. And then you have broken. This person's just, like, huddled over, like, in a ball, naked, vulnerable. Like, it says they feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart. Be patient. You know? Especially if this person ghosted you and left you. That's why. Your, your innocence, like there was something pure about you and they just couldn't do to you what they've done to other people, okay? You have, you're insatiable, like every day that goes by makes it harder for them to stay away from you and then you have the fight, okay? Their inner warrior is being activated and they're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. I don't know, but maybe they could have like a tattoo of like a tiger or like a cat or something, but yeah, this person's not going to be somebody that stays away for too long. They are going to come back. Alrighty then. And let's just pull one card from this deck. Wedding rings. <clears throat> this is about union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Like this person's coming back with promises. Then you even have kisses on the bottom of the deck. The deck. <clears throat> unconditionally loving, giving, and receiving affection and falling in love. This person's not afraid to let love anymore. You know, not afraid to let love in anymore. They know what it feels like to not have you in their life. And now this person understands, like, that love actually can feel good. You know, I feel like they pushed it away because in the past, uh, maybe it wasn't so good. Who knows? They could have had, like, a toxic childhood and didn't see good in their family relationships and stuff. And so in their mind, you know, maybe that's what they thought all relationships were like. But I feel like it took this connection to kind of make them see things differently and make them mature a little bit. All right. So anyway, if this resonates, please like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.